Uh, but that brings me to a question about uh, referral business. Yeah. According to uh, NAR, uh, National Association of Realtors, I believe it's between 14 and 18 percent uh, of your average uh, business that is referral business. You have networks throughout the country and actually throughout the world, but even if we take nation nationwide, it's very strong. Would you say it helps agents to uh, build their referral business? Yeah, it absolutely does. Does it help if the agent focuses on referral business? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, there's, we call it center of influence, sphere of influence, client base. See, there's so many different names for mm -hmm. it. But, but absolutely, you know, that's, that's really where the gold is mined. So if you're a new agent, you're building a, a database from scratch, who do you know, who are your friends, all those different pieces. And our most experienced agents, um, they've mastered that. They spend time every day on that sphere, on that center of influence. You know, Brian Buffini talks a lot about, mm -hmm. about center and oh, sphere yes. and, and, and Ninja, same way. I mean, all these programs are very keyed into sphere and center because it works. These are the people that already know, like, and trust you. And so part of what we're pushing a lot of times as well is focus on your sphere, wherever it is, find out ways to build your sphere in better and different ways. You know, there's two different ways to market. One is to market to your sphere, and one is to market to the, those you don't know, your warm calls, maybe your door knocking, maybe you're reaching out or you're, you're buying lead gen, whatever it might be as well. So there's two ways to do that, but your most important, where you can start figuring out what your daily revenue commitment is, your DRC, it's gonna come from your sphere more than anything else. So it's extremely, it's, it's vital in your business.